Working for you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Moderator. Thank you. And good afternoon, Premier Amory. Good afternoon, sir. Premier Amory, I call a call a few callers ago concerning telephone and the company on Cairn Street there. Mr. Amory, I have a lot, a lot of issue with those telephone mobile company in town. The caller is very right. Don't care. You, you said they could go in and make the complaint, but it don't make sense, Mr. Amory. Would you believe twice for the year I had to go in the office to redeem my money that they take from my phone? And two occasions, there's nobody you can go to. You go on there with anything, you don't, you don't have nobody outside to represent you. They're telling you what they feel like, and you have to walk out with that. Mr. Amory, it's not easy. Last week, Tuesday, I had the same plan on. It would have expired quarter past six. The Tuesday, I put $24 on my phone where I had on a dollar and cent before. So that would have make it $25 and cent. Because I make a call 14 minutes past six when the, the talk with the expire, 15 minutes past, I was told because I make a call a minute before it expire, my money started to go off during the morning when I checked the money. Six dollars and cents on my phone, and the plan didn't activate it. It had all the money to activate the plan, but because I make a call a minute before, the plan expired. Just like that, money gone. Very unfair. Mobile users getting a lot of knockout from the phone company. A lot, a lot of knockout. And need nobody to represent us. Up to that cable office on the road again. They too, they're telling you you got to pay five dollars for late fee. But when you can't see nothing on your TV, who you got to? Nobody. It's very unfair. We're getting a lot of knockout from them people here. Just before I call you, I tried to call one Mr. Richard. What's his name? And I cannot get him. Since Monday, I'm trying to get him. Who's supposed to be some marketing manager for Lyme? Since Monday, I'm trying to get him. The phone just keeps ringing out. It's not easy. We're getting a lot of pressure from them phone company. Anyway, thanks for hearing me. Thank you very much. Well, you know, I mean, uh, Les Roy, this is a... I think a serious complaint uh, because you know we are always told that government is inefficient the private sector and so on is efficient and nothing gets done in government but when you hear this kind of thing I will assume that what we're hearing is mm -hmm. the truth is, is, a, is, a, is a genuine concern and I'm only hoping that the businesses concerned are listening to the complaints which have been raised because again it's not so much about our talking to the people because they have a chance to speak as well mm -hmm. that they will take note of this the matter of trying to find uh, someone in consumer affairs to answer their phone and it rings out clearly is, a, is something which has to be looked at and I, I'm sure that the companies concerned will see this as a, a free poll for them to do something to ensure that this does not persist.